Hey everyone, it's Tom here from Tech Nexus, and hope you had a good weekend. And welcome to a new week of uh, our video series on InfraWorks. I'd originally thought that I was going to do InfraWorks for one week, but it looks like um, I think that there's just going to be a lot of content. Um, so it's basically going to be an InfraWorks fortnight. So uh, I got to the stage of showing you bridges uh, last week, but I wanted to have a play around with the roads uh, a little bit more and just go through some of the options and some of the things that you can do with, with the roads. So we're going to just place another component road, um, and I'm just going to go back to one of the normal um, assemblies. So let's look at this component road here, a four-lane divided with a sloped asphalt median. So I'm going to put it in here. And then what I'm going to do is also put the same road style across it. And just have a talk about these these intersections here. So if I switch uh, down to sort of a more perspective view, you can see that it's sort of parts of it are above the road, parts of it are above below the road um, and I want to leave it this way as well just because I want to show you what happens with some of these options here when we get into the analysis. So for today I think we'll just look at this this intersection and just see what you can do with it. So if you click on the intersection you can see we've got all of the different options there for graphically changing um, some of these uh, curves, some of these um, the lane groups and all of that kind of stuff but we can switch it from a normal uh, intersection to a roundabout just by clicking on the the icon up there and you can see again there there is a uh, obviously a standard for the roundabouts here so we can just switch it down to a, an urban double lane which will adjust some of the parameters here and we can go uh, rural single lane so again it just really depends on on sort of what you're doing and looking at if I switch back to an intersection, then we can also adjust the design vehicles. So it might be just a bit of a, a truck, bigger truck, sort of something like a big removalist truck, or we can go up to these uh, sort of more interstate with the single, double, and, and triple trailers on it. So, but I'll switch back to a car. Um, we can adjust also where these um, these uh, lines. Or these standards so you can see I can extend um, into the intersection or I can have the yield line on or off um, depending on on what you want to do in here as well but over here I can adjust what these arrows look like as well so I can say that this intersection is never going to be turning right into that lane so I'm just going to make it straight Okay, and then same thing for over here. I'm going to say that that's always going to be turning straight. And I'll do the same for over here. Okay, so this will also affect um, things like in, inside your traffic analysis as well. Okay, so we can also adjust the widening values down here so if I want to put in throw an extra lane in there then I can obviously just go through and adjust any of these transition pieces I can increase or decrease the lanes uh, again you've got you've got a, a bit of sort of options in there how to how to play with all of that what I can also do is and I just wanted to show this quickly really today as well is the sight distance so when you turn, when you go to the analysis and site distance, you pick the intersection and it asks you um, what the approach is. So stop or yield. So I'll just say that there's no control and it's a left turn and then I do my analysis on it. So this is saying that we're coming forward on road six and turning left and the site is clear. If I turn right, then we can see that there's site failure. So when the person gets down to this intersection here, that this, you can see this part of the surface here, the terrain is in that person's view. 
so they're not going to be able to to see or, or it's not going to be a good intersection to to come into and if we go do it as a crossing again there's going to be site issues there as well so let's look at um, forward on road 7 and do the same analysis so again you can see that this looks like this part of the terrain is going to be an issue so I guess from that that you determine do we need to just cut that out do we need to lift the road do we need to do a little bit more preparation in regards to the area around here and then that way uh, the intersection is going to be good okay so that's all I really wanted to cover today I think tomorrow we'll get into um, more maybe things like the traffic simulation um, the corridor optimization the profile optimization for the rest of the week as well uh, and hopefully if we've got time I'll jump into uh, the drainage side of things and the presentation side of things if not we'll just pick it up uh, in the coming weeks anyway so again thank you for watching subscribe uh, to the channel please and click on the icon the bell icon to get uh, my daily notifications if you like the video thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and i will see you for tomorrow's video see you later